Hello everybody, this is Delpha, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Today we're going to hunt two more monsters, the Boldrome and I think the Conga Langala. That's how you pronounce it. I don't remember. I'm skipping the um, Volcadrome for now, and if we, have, if we have enough time I'll do it. So there's the uh, Boldrome. Sure, I've done some of the quests, there's more like the these two. Honestly, you don't need to see me play, fight those monsters again. I'll probably have to do that eventually. Oh no, actually no, I won't have to do that. There's the Congalanga la Congalala, I suppose. I need to fight those. I need to do that. That. And you. And that. And that, and that. Okay, I guess my monster I want to fight isn't in this version yet. It's not on this level. But for now, we'll do this one. Which is a simple quest, which is to fight a Boldrum. If you've noticed, my armor, as my mouse keeps pointing, spinning back into the screen, my armor, I've changed it to the hunting armor now. Anyway, alright then. If you guys have noticed, my armor's changed. I'm now using the hunter's armor. Is it the hunter set? Uh, I think it's... Uh, what was it called again? I forgot. Uh, yeah, hunter's armor. Good thing about this armor set, it gives me auto tracker and carving iron man. I'm guessing carving iron man gives me the ability to... Carve more? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, with Auto Tracker, I can actually know. Oop, not that. I can know the location of where the monsters are, which is really useful. And there's a Bolfalgo. Fal I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay. And as always, a cutscene. I will say, this monster can be very annoying. Especially since it's at the beginning of the game as well. Time for another strategy meeting. Today, we are hunting the Voldrome. Honestly, this monster is extremely annoying. As it likes to charge into your face a lot. Traps all work except for sonic bombs which I believe have no effect um, just like the um, Gyodrome it likes to explore the three top areas 6, 7 and 8 I believe it has a counter attack where, it likes, where if you come behind it sometimes it will swing around and knock you flying which is quite painful annoyingly also it likes to charge a lot so my recommendations is to, as soon as it's finished charging, is to run behind it and hit it. But make sure after you've hit it at least once or even twice, get out of there as fast as you, part as you can. Great. Luckily it hasn't seen me. I will say this monster can be a very big pain. Watch out for that attack. Oh god. I forgot to mention, yeah, I'm using the hammer. And it has a tendency to like charging a lot. God, this weapon isn't really doing much damage. Oh, it works! They knocked him out! I was hardly expecting that. This should be quite easy now, actually. It looks really pathetic looking at my types of attacks like that. Good thing about using the hammer, it knocks the enemy out if you hit them on the head enough. Oh, 
And that downward strike is basically, I guess it's not the strongest, but it's good. Oh, fuck. Uh, I thought it did more damage. Get ready for it. It doesn't always work. I think this monster is just weak. Usually it takes a lot more to knock a monster out. And there we go. The ball drum is killed. Honestly, at the moment, I think we've just got a lucky streak. Usually it takes a lot longer to kill a monster. Oh well. Okay, here we have the rewards. Um, I accidentally just picked up the um, uh, brute claws. Uh, nothing too much else from this monster, really. So there's no point really showing it. Oh, there's a lot of paintball. Okay. Guess it's useful to have. On to the next monster, or should we upgrade our... Uh, I'm actually going to see if we can upgrade our weapon. Yo. Um, well, we can make a bone horn, but I don't really want to make that. Monster fluid. Oh, if we had one more small monster bone, we could have made the giant... Uh, we could have made this one. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, some weapons now have elements. Them. So basically, if I kept this in the, well, if I kept, if I looked for these items, I would be able to make a ice hammer. There's actually other weapons I can make. I'm pretty sure I can easily make that now whenever I want. So I might save that for now. Um, nothing else there. Also, in crafting weapons, I'm not sure if I showed, I forgot. I got to make a Blango Destroyer. But usually, if you make it as a raw weapon from like just buying it or just using the crafting shields from just the craft weapons, it usually costs a little bit more and the materials are slightly harder to get. It doesn't always come up though, some weapons you have to go down a certain path. Sometimes they don't appear and they should, if you, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It all depends. Okay, next monster for us to hunt is the well, uh, Conga Langa Lala. Okay, so this one, it might be a little harder. Good idea to take a lot of potions, I think. Don't know, oh god, I'm low on money. Hopefully this monster will give me a lot of money. Oh yeah, and we're at the jungle again. And as you can see, that's its location. Luckily, it's quite easy to get to. And we have enough... Well, I guess we could try capturing it, so I can show you how to capture. Why not? Yeah. This time, I'm going to show you guys how to capture a monster. It's not like I'm after the materials, anyway. It doesn't really matter. And since you get a portable, um... Like, uh, shock trap, it's quite easy to get back. God, it's always raining in this game. I think we've had, like, any clear weather. Here we go. A giant monkey. That likes to eat mushrooms. This actually monster is quite unique compared to other, some other monsters. Mainly because it has a unique ability. Okay, next strategy. Against the Conga La 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 La. Difficulty, it's okay. It might kill you if it gets a hit. Not too many. Um, traps and flash bombs work. Side bomb, I believe, doesn't. It can be found in areas number. Uh, three, 
we'll be finding areas. Three, six, nine. I think it can also go to number two and one. It usually likes to eat either at number nine or number one, for I I remember. Usually going to where mushrooms usually grow. If you're going to start hunting it, then it starts looking like it's getting hungry, you know where it's going to run off to. So if you plan it uh, properly, you can throw down some uh, traps either in its way or prepare an attack, which will hopefully hit it while it tries to escape or leave the room. It sleeps in area 6, same as the Kutu Ku Ku, Yan Kutu Ku. Uh, easy to take down. Um, avoid its farts, because if they hit you, you can't use any healing items. I believe some other items may also not work. Usually edible items. Bombs, flash bombs, etc. should work, but he like drinking something won't. Which you should see here. I think the only time you need to be worried about this monster is when it's in rage mode. It's a lot faster and it can be a bit more of a pain. To knock a monster out, if I didn't say last time, you have to hit them on the head a lot. But sometimes it's recommended not to try, because that's where mostly likely where the monster is going to start attacking. Luckily, that downwards and the strike doesn't usually get knocked back. By the way, if you're also close to the monster when it does that, it has a tendency to, well, make you fall over. Like, I don't know, it's like a quake system where you wobble for a few seconds. That, I don't really know why it does that. Oh, it seems to have farted, apparently. Let's stay away from it when it does that. Ow. I hate these things. I've got to eat before coming. I keep forgetting that. Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. Oh, good. I didn't get hit by them. By that. That usually stops you from using potions. So it can be very annoying. I suppose you could say this is like the hardest monster for like the rank 2. Because it doesn't have really many weaknesses. Ow. And that move can be painful. God, I keep reflecting. I need to upgrade my weapon. I need to go for a different weapon, maybe, next time. That was terrible. Though it might still do damage. That was a good hit. Damn it! Even deflect sometimes do damage. Stay still, monkey! I guess it's a gorilla, not really a monkey. It's a lot harder to knock out, apparently. Has it glitched it, has it? Now it's in rage mode. Oh god. What do I need? I need to shot my weapon. But my cat's fainted, so I can't exactly... I don't have a chance to relax for a second. Uh, 
I don't think the hammer is the best weapon for this monster. Oh god damn it! Oh shit. Oh god, this is gonna be painful, this is gonna be painful. Ah. I think we should just leave the area. He is not happy with me. Huh. It's nice and quiet now. It's like we weren't even fighting a monster. Okay, let's get back in. Oh yeah, you can also see when it's flash, um... Usually when it's blue at the top, it usually means the monster hasn't seen it. When it's yellow, it usually means they're docile. But they will attack you into the room. And red usually means that they are in... I guess they're not rage, but... They'll attack you if you enter the room. Right. I don't think we've actually been here before. Though at the moment, I think it's just coming here for food. Or not. I don't know why it's doing that. That was a good hit. We also knocked over Babana. It was a banana or a best point. I call it Balbana for some reason. Damn it, stay still. That was a terrible. Very terrible. Very painful. God. I would do more combos, but at the moment it's not exactly in the right position for that. That might be a good hit. Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I decided to do something else. Oh, there we go. I think it's getting hungry. No, I think I stopped it from getting hungry. Or maybe not. No, I miss the old combo. If you bounce off them, usually you go for a second hit. Do it with the hammer. Uh, with the hammer. Hello, Hernitar. Very annoying monsters. Because they, they like sneaking around you and hitting you from behind. If they see you, it's not actually held off to me. It's after food at the moment. But also gives them a chance to knock it out. Oh god, it's a little foul going here. The thing it doesn't aim very well with that with that jump attack. So if that hit me, I'd probably be dead right now. Yep, and also has the ability to throw its mushrooms at you. Is that with mushrooms or it's poop? Oh that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That wasn't a good hit. Oh, I see. So if I press circle, it's more likely to do a better swing, not triangle. Nice hit. Damn it. That did a lot of damage. The cat throwing bombs. Yeah, it got hit in the face. Thank God it's not after me. Monsters are hitting monsters today. Still not limping. But it is clear. Number six. Um, I guess this way is the easiest way to get there. 
classic, I guess. It might be limp. It might actually be low on HP. I can't remember if it has a limp animation or not. Not all monsters do. Don't think we need to sharpen. Hmm. Not to investigate. Nope, it's still running around happily. Oh no, it is, it is sleeping. That means it's low in HP. This should make things a lot easier. Okay, so capture a monster. You put down a trap. Go over to your sh uh, sonic bombs. And now you just throw bombs at it. No, not gather, throw. And there you go. Job's done. I count on the North Mighty victory anyway. Let's put that be harder. Maybe because my weapon wasn't actually doing as much damage as I hoped it would. Yeah, and sadly the hits don't actually affect it. Hang on, is this sleeping with its eyes open? It is! It's sleeping with its eyes open. That is creepy! I guess we'll just... okay. Okay, let's see what rewards we got. Helps and everything. Fangs and helps. As well as claws, I guess it doesn't get a claw. Oh well. Yeah, I'll get more onto it. That's the second monster. I might actually go get the bulky drug now. Oh yeah, you can fight the conga langa langa la la la. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Okay. I'll have something very special to show you. And it's all because of the conga langa 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 langa. Oh! Well, before that, we have some information hey, from this lady. Oh, what's happening now? Oh! Oh, that's nice. Does it mean one that Yeah, okay, so I can hire more chefs then. There we go, meat and bran, that's what I want. I suppose while we're here, we may as well show you the animations for the cats cooking. Uh, both cats cooking now. Oh, and my comrade Alan has leveled up to level 4. Well done, Alan. Do me proud. Okay, let's get some food. Into our bellies. Um, so for wild bacon and uh, hard tack, whatever that is. Oh, what's happening? Well, one cat went insane. Seems to be okay. Defense strength, and we also got an ability, feline super something. Uh, super cats. I have no idea what that means. I forgot what it means. I think it's something doing with um, maybe carrying. Oh, no, it's transporter. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, before I leave, I'm going to give you guys something. To enjoy. But first of all, I'll need to sleep. And save. And I'll show you it in a second. Once we finally finish saving. 
usually after the, um, killing some monsters, you get like these little videos after you defeat them. It doesn't always happen, but the longer, further you go in the game, the more you get. Oh yeah, I should also probably show you some of these other openings. That might be recommended. Also, you can have a look at some of the other monsters I fought again. Here we go. The Congolanga uh, Ecology. Blank screen. Well, um, I guess that's it. It's not taking me back. Luckily, we saved. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and good bye.